What's up, f Welcome back to another f low nose f tutorial. I think you're gonna like this one. Up next. Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. It's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. Make sure you hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out on any other future videos like this one. Okay, okay, so sorry for the language, but we are doing a tutorial on how to censor bad words in your, censor bad words out of your videos within Vegas Pro. All right, so let's open up Vegas Pro and let's get straight. To it. Okay, so in advance, I apologize for the bad language, but we are all doing this in the name of education, aren't we? Yeah. Okay, so here is the intro that you just saw, and we are going to place, we're going to censor out our curse words, and we're going to put the little black bars, the censor bar across my mouth as well. Now, right as of right now, we've got to identify our curse words, so we can just play it. What's up, fuckers? Welcome. All right, so there's our, our fuckers. Fuckers, welcome back. I put that there. I'll put a marker there. Just press M for a marker. Fuckers, welcome back to another fucking low. All right, there's my other curse word. I'll put a marker there. Fucking low nose fucking tutorial. And our marker there. And we'll keep playing. Fucking tutorial. I think you're going to like. Fucking tutorial. I think you're going to like this one. Up next. Fuck. Yeah. All right. There goes our markers there. Now, what you want to do is now get a sensor sound. It can be any kind of, kind of sound you want to kind of bleep out the, the, the curse word. Uh, but for this one, we'll use a sensor sound. Now, you can get these sounds anywhere. Uh, you can go to YouTube. There's plenty of sensor sounds that you could download. Um, I have a video on my channel to show you how to record audio or music or anything off of YouTube or wherever onto your computer so you can use it within your projects. I'll put a, a little uh, thing right there in the corner so you can see how to do that. Uh, but I'll grab my sensor sound effect right here, my curse sensor sound effect. Okay, it's got several here. And I'm going to grab this one. I'll use the S key to cut the pieces of my video. All right, and I'm going ahead and hold down the control button and place these other uh, curses right here where I know it's going to happen. Now, you're not going to place the sensor under it. You want to replace the word uh, the curse word, but at the same time, you just want to have like a little of the bit of the first sound of the curse word so you have a sense of what's going on. All right, so we've got the f right here in the, in, the, in the fuck. Fuckers, welcome. All right, so I will go ahead and I'll put it, place it right here. And it sounds like this. Oh, fuck, okay, there we go. So you, you get the sense that I'm cursing. And here's the other one. Fucking low. All right, we'll place it right here. Fuck low nose. F All right. And we'll place it right here. Just a little F. F tutorial. I think you're gonna like this one. Up next. Fuck. All right, and then we'll place it right. Oh, where am I? Oh, here I am. We'll place it right there. F Perfect. All right. So that sounds amazing. Now we've got to place the sensor bars. Doing this is really, really, really easy. Uh, go ahead and press Control Shift Q twice so you can add new tracks. All right now, you're going to go to your media generators. All right, you're going to go to your solid color. Bring it down here on the track right above that. Okay. Then you're going to go to your legacy text. No, I'm sorry, before that, let's go to our event pan and crop. We're going to go to the mask section. We're going to pick the rectangle or square mask creation tool. We're going to create, oops, where are you? Mask, there we go. And, oh, oh boy, kind of took its time right there. Let me back up and we'll create a rectangle here that will hold our word sensor. All right, I'll make I'll make it that big. I'll let go. Our mask is created. Okay, I can just X out of there now. All right, so it's right there. Now with my text, sample text, or my legacy text. I'll put my sensor. S okay. Then we can go to our properties. I can scale it down. So it's small enough to fit on my box. I'm going to placement and place it in there. I can make it bigger if I like. Place it there and I can use any font that my heart desires and I'll use the font that I normally. No, actually, hold on. Whoa, whoa, which one did I just miss? That looked pretty cool. That one. Yeah, I, I like this one. Why not? We'll just use that one for now. Uh, and let me tweak my placement of it. Okay, 
you know what? I'll leave it like that and I'll make it wider just a little more. Okay, there we go. Censored. Okay, now we're not going to do this for every single word. What we're going to do now is we're going to mute our tracks. Okay, we're going to mute this track here, the audio, I'm sorry, the video, and this. And right now we just have a black screen that says censored. You're going to press the save snapshot to file. Okay. And this snapshot will go immediately to your project, your project window. All right, so we can uh, bring our bring our our video back into play. We can delete the white, we can delete the black, and now we can drag this element that we just created right here. So now it's on top. So now we can put it with all of our other sensors. So I will go ahead and I will I'll use a split. Oh, nope, sorry. I'll press S. I will split it. I'll place. I'll use this one here. Okay. I will use this one here. I'll press the S button. I will use this one here, press the S button, and I'll bring this over here and use the S button to cut it up. All right, now all we have to do is just match the placement of this when we make the, when we do the, the curse squared. So I'll bring my, I've got my marker right here. My mouth is right there. Now I could use the track motion here to move this around. The only thing is it affects the entire track. All right, so I'm gonna use the event pan and crop for this explanation, for this particular one. Um, but if you want to do the track motion, you could probably either do hold keyframes or you just create more additional track motion tracks. It's it's all up to you. So I'll go to the event pan and crop. All right, and I will just move the camera right over my mouth at the cursing, all right? I'll go to this one right here. Same thing, event pan and crop for that one because each individual event pan and crop is different for each clip. I will put it there. Then we'll go here, event pan and crop. And I'll bring it right here. There we go. And then we'll go all the way to the last one. Who are you? Oh, there you go. And then event. There we go. That's good. Then we can try it again. What's up, Welcome back to another low nose tutorial. I think you're gonna like this one. Up next, F all right, and that's it. That that is how you edit or or censor the curse words within within Vegas Pro. You can get super creative with this. You don't have to use a black bar with a censor thing. You don't have to use like a beeping sound. You can use like dogs, cats, uh, mice, rabbits, giraffes, whatever. Uh, a sound effect, elephants. You can use any kind of sound effect you want. Just place it over the curse word. And as far as like a black bar and the censored, you can use any kind of picture you would want uh, to kind of, to just kind of like have a sense of you've just bleeped out a curse word and you're putting it over your mouth. On top of that, if you really want to know how to have the sensor bar track with your mouth so it's not kind of like missing all over the place, uh, leave a comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial on actually how to do that. It's gonna take a little more time, but it's worth it in the end, especially when you get really uh, cool with it. All right guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you love the video. As always, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about censoring audio within Vegas Pro and of course putting a sensor bar over your mouth